Welcome back. It's time now for our fan favorite segment, The Love Doctors, where each and every week we answer your relationship questions. But today, in light of Kara's Ooh. announcement, we thought Kara would just tell us what it's like to be pregnant. Kara, for five minutes. <laughs> no, it's a tiny miracle. Yeah, I'm feeling yes. great. It is awesome. Yes. She's my yes. hero. Yes. And here she is looking so beautiful. Oh, thank you. All right, Kara is filling in for Chesley, and here we go. Michelle says, let's dive yeah. right in. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. My husband, was, oh no, was diagnosed with a really bad illness about two years ago. It's been taking a toll on his health and mental state. Uh, he went from being a sweet, loving husband to someone I hardly recognize. He blames me for everything. Snaps at me, is always in a sour mood. I'm at my breaking point. I even consider divorce. I feel guilty for mm. wanting to leave, mm -hmm. but don't want to be miserable forever. Wow, this is like a sad one. It's really sad. This is actually um, going on with Miss Lanethia Leakes right now on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her husband Greg has cancer, and she has been so vocal about how, they, sorry, sidebar, how they've been um, having a lot of problems. But here's what she said that I think is interesting because we don't know the backstory on this couple is were they okay before he got sick? Like, was everything fine before they got sick? Or were there issues before and now that he's also being. Um, a little bit more uh, work on her part. Is she being? Is she feeling resentful in more ways than one? Right. I think we need to know more about mm -hmm. this particular situation. Is it like a um, a, disease, a disease that is manageable? Is it like a, a, a late stage cancer? I mean, right. in any event, I, I definitely don't want somebody to feel like they are are in a dead end situation. But I also want you to be there for. This person who who yeah. you pledged before God and family, right? To that's what I was gonna say. We do say in sickness and hell. Obey, I know. So I mean, you guys need some counseling, and um, I mean that just breaks my heart. I know because this isn't just you about love. You, yeah, it's, you don't want to like not recognize the feelings of the caretaker because I know that's such a huge issue. However, he's the one that's sick, and if it were you, you would probably want the same love and care. 100%, yeah. yes. Oh, that's hard. But you absolutely need an intervention, and mm -hmm. if that is uh, your pastor, if that's um, a you know, a counselor, a therapist, whatever works for you, you need to, yeah. you need to get that help, 100%. Yeah. I feel sad. Yeah. I know, me too. I'm We're sorry praying for you both. We, I am too. That's a bummer. Okay. Right, let us know how it goes. Let us know how it goes. Please okay. update us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next question. I've been dating this guy for a few weeks now, and while it's going great, we haven't defined our relationship or anything just yet. The other day, though, another guy asked me out on a date. I said I'd get back to him because I'm not sure where I stand with the current guy, but I don't want to ask him and have a talk that's premature. What should mm. I do? Okay, well, you have two options. You either tell him or you don't and you're passive aggressive and then he finds out later. So are you not telling him because it's an, it's an anxiety producing situation for you? Because if that's the case, you need to get over that and just tell him. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah I mean, you would not want him to find out about it after the fact and then, then you're dealing with this whole other issue. You, you know, mm -hmm. you need to just hit it head on you know what, somebody else asked me out and it really just got me thinking. I mean, I really am only yeah. interested in you and I'd right. love to see where this goes. So um, I just figured we should have that discussion. It's not gonna be easy. Right. Actually, just saying that was very difficult. I mean, I, that, I got awkward and I'm, I, that's- but Don't you wanna know either way? Like, just ask him and then it will put your mind at a at ease either way. You can yes. either go out on a new fun date or you can get rid of that baggage. Yes. Or maybe it's not baggage, maybe you're having a great time, which is then lovely. Right, right. Yeah. And, and and I don't know, it, if this is a right person and he's kind and compassionate and a, a, a good fit for you, even if the talk feels a little uh, premature, if he's a good person, it's going to be okay. It, you know, you know. Right. It, um, don't make excuses. Don't make excuses for yes. your partner because if they do care about you, they will let you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's been nice having you. Oh well, I How tried to feel Chesley. She's I'm gonna fine. just. I, I got a dote on you, and cookies. now, and now you get the parking spot, the pregnancy parking spot. Well, I will say, I, I will mean, say it, 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 it practically like is right up to the door. It's, it's so awesome. It's amazing. It is amazing. And get here, in here. Parking is rough. Get in here. I feel yes. like I've got sympathy mm. pregnancy. Like I want chocolate. I'm sleepy. Indulge, please. Okay. <laughs> all right. right. Do you have a question for the love doctors? We keep them all private, unless you don't want us to. <laughs> all right. Send us an email, guest at atlantacompany.com, and you can be mm. featured right here each oh. and every week. Are you okay? I'm good. I'm just somebody help her off the chair. I'm just. Oh. Gonna chase. 
You okay? Just checking check, make everything. Sure everything's okay. check everything. Everything's good. All right, still to come, That's lights, good. camera, labor. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be good. We're discussing the trend of glamour shots in the delivery room mm. and all sorts of crazy things that have us moms going, hmm.